I'm Mrs. D. Math. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be finding the slope in eighth grade math. If you haven't watched the previous video, rate of change and slope, you may want to go back and watch that first. But the slope is the constant rate of change that is written as a ratio of the change between two y values, which we call the rise, to the change between the same two x values, which we call the run. So we want to use the same two ordered pairs. Here we have a graph, and this one's already been marked for us. We have feet and yards, and we're going to go ahead and put this into a table. So this is going to help us hopefully see the difference in making a slope based on our graph or our table. So let's go ahead and start filling out the table. And we know for our x here, we have our feet, and for our y value, we have yards. So I'm going to go ahead and label those feet and yards. And then we can use the actual graph to fill in our ordered pairs. So we see here the first ordered pair when x is 3, y is 1. Then for the next one, when x is 6, y is 2. When x is 9, y is 3. When x is 12, y is 4. When x is 15, y is 5. And I can follow the pattern. I know the next one is going to be 18 and y is going to be 6. So if I have 18 feet, that's going to equal 6 yards. And I know this to be true because we do know that there are indeed 3 feet in a yard. So if I go here to my graph and I want to find my slope, I'm going to start with my rise. And so I'm going from this y to this y. And in this case, it increases by 1. And then I'm going to go after my rise. I'm going to go to the right, which is my run, and that equals 1, 2, 3. So I know my rise is 1, my run is 3. But let's say that I want to go from this point to this point. I don't have to go consecutively in order. So if I go here and I want to find my rise over run, here I'm going to go from this y value up to this y value. See how it equals that one. So that is 1, 2. My rise is 2. My run is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now, at first, my slope was a rise of 1 and a run of 3. When I did it the second time, my slope was a rise of 2 and a run of 6. Well, if you remember from reducing fractions, we can do the same thing with ratios. And I do know that if I were to divide 2 and 6 by 2, this would also equal 1 third. So it doesn't really matter which two points you choose. You want to reduce your slope down to the smallest possible, and you're going to end up with a slope of 1 to 3. So that means for every yard, since that's what my y represented, I'm going to have 3 feet. So let's go here finding the slope using our slope formula, which is rise over run. We'll get more into the math part of it later, but right now we're going to use a graph again. So this graph isn't labeled as far as points, but I do have my line here. So I'm going to find a couple of points on this graph. You can choose any two points on the graph. It does not matter. So I'm going to go with this point right here. That one's pretty easy to see. And I'm just going to go with this one, the origin, because I can tell that it goes through 0, 0. So again, we're just finding that distance from the rise over the run. So from this y value, down one, two, three, my rise is a negative three. And then from this point over to the next point is my run, one, two, three, four. So that run is going to be four. So now I can fill out my slope, which is rise over run. So my rise was negative three, and my run is. Four. So my slope is negative 3 fourths. So I can go down 3 from any point and across 4, and I'm going to end up at a point on the graph. 
So there's your slope, it's pretty simple. You are also going to end up getting into answering more questions about the graph, but we can see this is a constant rate of change. And so my slope of negative three over four means that I'm going to have a point every time I go down three and right four, which means since it is a negative, this is a decreasing slope or a negative slope. I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to find the slope in eighth grade math. This is Mrs. D Math. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.